the mysterious DZI bead. DZI beads are mysterious. Do you know what they're made of? Agate. Many people know this. Typically, they're made of agate. But there are different opinions. The best DZI beads fell from the sky in the form of a meteor. These meteor DZI beads, they're the rarest. The ordinary ones are like this one in my hand. It may be made of something like agate. It carries special power after being processed and blessed. People wear DZI beads on their wrists and neck. Some ancients embedded DZI beads in their hats. In Tibetan areas, DZI beads are almost everywhere. We can see them on silver bowls, jewelry and even glass frames. Almost everywhere, people believe DZI beads are treasures which are auspicious and exorcise evil. Thus, they offer it to the Buddha, to a living Buddha and to their master. Many people offer the DZI beads they've treasured for years. The DZI bead didn't originate in Tibet. It originated in the Middle East. A thousand years ago, Buddhism flourished. In Middle Eastern countries, such as Iran and Iraq, at that time, DZI beads were related to Buddhism and folktales. People with spiritual power may see something evil pass by. Without the power, we see nothing. If a person has a spirit attached to him, he will be ill. Some are in a coma, especially the little children. Their skull is weak. We can see it moving with their heartbeat. Why can't we see it move when they grow up? The skull becomes stronger, but the part underneath the skull is still moving. The inside part will be vibrating as long as we are alive. As the skulls of children are weak, they are sensitive to the environment. Many kids under 12 have strong inductive ability. They can see what adults can't. Most children are highly intelligent. As they are sensitive, sometimes they can see what adults can't. They say there is a ghost, a shadow. Indeed, something we can't see is making them cry. Thus, DZI beads become useful. Let's look at the oval bead with painted eyes. In my hand, it's a 5 IDZI bead. There are circles on it. We call the circle the eye. The DZI beads at that time featured painted eyes. What's the name of the eye? The eye of Dharma protectors. Dharma protectors are more powerful than us. Six-armed Mahakala looks ferocious. He is very kind, but he can be evil. So the demons that eat people's souls are afraid of him. They'll be eaten by him. He can be terrifying. So why do we draw eyes on DZI beads? Their Dharma protectors' eyes, also called the eye of evil and killings. Painting eyes on DZI beads became popular at that time in the Middle East. As the Middle East is very close to Tibet, 
DZI beads gradually spread to Tibet. Many people offer it to Buddha and Sangha, or wear it as rosaries or decoration. It is not a Buddhist rosary, but a decorative rosary. In ancient times, it was for exercising evil spirits. Many practitioners of old caste and chanted to it with the eyes and exercising energy. It can protect children from evil. Children can wear it on their neck or wrist, or carry it in a tote bag. If children don't want to wear it, you can put it under or inside their pillows. That's the history of DZI beads. During the festival, we introduce DZI beads to you. As soon as the gate of hell is opened, some sentient beings do come out. We may feel uncomfortable in their presence. Wearing DZI beads can help us. DZI beads have strong energy. Wearing DZI beads helps us be blessed and avoid evil spirits.